so I've seen you, we, we've met, I, and I, I was yeah. shocked at how much weight you've lost. And I know how difficult it is for people of color, so congratulations. Thanks, man. Thank you. Yeah. I just gotta take care of myself, you know? <laughs> how much weight? How much? Um, I don't know, probably 70 or something like that. Oh my God, yeah. I mean, I mean, when I was doing Last King, when I did Last King, I was like really big. I was like 300 pounds. I gained like 50 pounds. But you gained 50 par pounds for the part? Yeah. E e eating what? Uh, they had this thing. It's like called Motoki. It's basically boiled banana. When I was in like uh, Uganda, I was like eating that all the time. And like, really. What time of the day do you eat that? <laughs> Breakfast, <laughs> lunch, dinner. Is it like when you've been drinking after night, uh, late at night? <laughs> What's it, it called? Motoki. What does it taste like? It tastes... Like, like kind of like potatoes, you know, a little sweeter. Yeah, yeah all right. Yeah. <laughs> but wait a minute, but you're, you're a vegetarian though, right? I am a vegetarian. And how many years? It's been like uh, 20, maybe 25 years or something like that. Yeah. Wait a minute, man. How, how did I get so big, right? <laughs> <laughs> how did you get so big being no. a vegetarian? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I was, you know, you can, you know, you, you gorge on pizza, cake, ice cream. Pasta. How did you become a vegetarian though? Because now it's kind of the fad, but you were back in it 25 years. That's yeah, I had done this, this movie and I was really just burnt. And I went to this place to rest and I was sleeping, just sleeping and, they, and all they served was vegetarian food and they were teaching me a, a different way to, to live and, I, and I, I switched in. So when you drive around and you see, you know, a, a, a burger place or, or Jack in the Box or some rib place. You, Your Burger King no, has a veggie burger. That's what you get. <laughs> But are you, are, you one of, are you one of those freaks, man, that eats like, where they make up the name like Tofurky? Did you try Tofurky? What? Hell no. <laughs> Soriso? I got Soriso. Soriso, I try, hey, Soriso's actually very good. Yeah. But I started to grow titties. So I stopped, I stopped eating it. But you know, that was the, you know what? That's the kind of key, because I was eating all this soy, and I, when I was going to get in shape, I cut all the soy out and changed everything. It changed everything. Yeah. And what else is there? There's like fake and bacon? Yeah, bologna, turkey. You don't eat eggs? I'm vegetarian. I do eat eggs. Oh, I, eat, I eat eggs and I eat cheese. I don't eat any meat, though. Yeah. My son is a vegan, and he doesn't eat any of that. Right. Do they have breath mints for vegetarians? Because everyone I see <laughs> has some nasty-ass breath. You know what I mean, right? They get up on the like, hey. <laughs> Listen, I was popping like two in before I even came right? up here, so we so sat. So you know what I'm talking about. No, I'm right. And farts that smell like an old truck. <laughs> <laughs> the first time that we met, we connected. Yeah. But it was a very monumental time, man. We, we met at the Obama uh, we Are One inauguration. We met at yeah, the inauguration. Yeah, yeah. it was Here, beautiful. Here's yeah. a picture of, of uh, myself, Forrest, and Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. Uh, at, that was an amazing moment, right? At the Lincoln, Lincoln, and Michael Bearden was there, band leader of the show. And, and it, let's zoom in on Sam's feet because we're getting our first African-American president. My man's wearing dirty Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> he, wears, he wears them everywhere. He wears them everywhere. Now, if you got corns, just cut a regular dress shoe like everyone else. <laughs> Do you remember how you felt? How you felt that day? That day was very special, wasn't it? Yeah, you remember looking out and all of the people like way all the way back in the monument. Many people there. It was, uh, it just lifted. How you does up. that make you feel as an African American to know that we have a black president? He's, he's an it, amazing man. He's a, uh, it, 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 it makes me feel that anything's possible. Anything is possible, and this is the country. That's why people come here. Yeah. You know, there's always, it's funny because when you can't, when you can't hit him for something, you hit, you find something else, like his birth certificate. Now there's a thing, whether he was born in this country or yeah. not. Let me tell you how black Barack Obama is. I went to the state dinner for the president of Mexico. Do you uh -huh. know who performed? Beyonce. Oh, yeah, but she performs a lot. That's man. keeping it real. Yeah. <laughs> All the Latinos there were like, ¿Qué, qué, 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 la señora? <laughs> When, when, uh, when, to have a name for us, did, did you always, I mean, it sounds almost like a, 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 a scent of Febreze. Yeah, exactly. You know try, what, it's, try it's, the Forrest Whitaker, Febreze. I'm the third. That's my dad and my grandfather's name. And were you always happy with the first name Forrest? 
When I was little, they used to call me by my middle name. They used to call me Steve. My middle name is Steven. <laughs> because you see, could... to me, that's funny. Because <laughs> I love Forrest. That somebody called you. Does he look like a Steve? Hell no. 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 Did you like Steve? It, it's just the way they. they because my, if we were in my grandfather, and my dad, they couldn't call us all Forrest. So they would they call my dad Junior. They call me Steven. They call my my grandfather Forrest. Yeah. That's what about when Forrest Gump came out? You get any? A lot of that. <laughs> What? Run for us, you know, <laughs> all kind of craziness. Will your kids do it to you? The, uh, people, people think it's like the biggest joke. You know, it's like saying, I can't see the forest for the trees or, yeah. you know, something like, and so people always would bring that up. You know what I found interesting, too, is, is that you're a black belt in, in what martial art? A couple of them. Yeah, that's in Kempo. I, studied, I've been, I trained in uh, Kali, or Filipino martial arts, combat arts, since yeah. I was young. Yeah. Since I was maybe 12. Vegetarian. Uh, can kick ass with a sword and a stick <laughs> while eating mashed up bananas in the middle of the night. <laughs> That's me, right? <laughs> Cut <Cut-up> over next. <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> so you, you, you're not afraid anywhere you go in the world. You're not afraid. You can defend yourself. I feel pretty confident. I mean, look, I mean, anybody can be hurt and harmed. And, and when people fight, people, even if you win, you, a lot of times you get hurt. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's but not when like you that. heal up, you go back to the dude's house. <laughs> How do you like uh, Criminal Mind Suspect behavior? You like it? I'm loving it. You know, I'm loving working on it. I, I, I got the great cast, you know, with uh, Janine Garofalo, Mike Kelly, and Matt Ryan, and, and Bo Garrett. We kind of we kind of mesh like a family. We get along. We got along from the very beginning. And tell everybody what, what because it's a different aspect of crime, right? Yeah. We, we, we study behavior. We study the way you just move, what, what would make you a criminal. We figure out how to find you by the way you've committed your crime, by the things you've done, by yeah. your habits, you know? It's very psychological. I, uh, I went to Quantico and, at the FBI and like got a chance to. Are talk they taking out of real cases? A, a lot of them are based on some real yeah. cases, but they don't want to, you know, glorify the right the, the, the killers. The crime, and, yeah. Uh, so they they shift it. Does being a parent help you with, with criminal suspect behavior? Do you ever walk in your kid's room and look around and go, "Oh, I know what the hell happened here." <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it's true. It's true. Doesn't it? Because I can see, like, I can see, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm sitting there and I see them walking. It's really quiet walking down the stairs. I'm like, why are they walking so quietly down the stairs? <laughs> and then they go in the room and they disappear from it. I'm like, what exactly are they doing down there? You know what I mean? Yeah, They're but if you, see, if you see doll hair just straight, straight <laughs> you know somebody's got scissors that don't need to be having scissors in their hand. And my mom used to, used to do it. Like, I'd be, she would be in the kitchen. She was like real behaviorless because she, she'd be saying, she'd say, I'll be standing on the chair and she'd say, Get out off that chair. You know you're not supposed to be doing that. And like, she's like way in the other part of the house. <laughs> How is it possible, right? <laughs> she can hear you breathing. <laughs> Forrest Whitaker, Criminal Minds. Suspect Behavior. Wednesdays, 10 o'clock on CBS. Forrest Whitaker.